so that we can engage, okay? So the first thing I want you to do is take a look in your blue folder and let's go through the resources. So when I say take out this or turn to this, you'll know what I'm talking about. The next resource is the Graphic Organizer, Socratic Seminar Civics Unit 6, Advantages and Disadvantages of Credit Cards. Then you have the Discussion Tracker. Now, your page that says grades 9 through 12 conversation stems, this, okay? And your discussion tracker that's found in your social studies material um, looks like this as well. And lastly, you have the articles that we're going to use for today's activity. This is advantages and disadvantages of credit cards. Is in stage one, Documents are being explored and discussed by groups. Students are provided with a questionnaire or statement document to decide whether they agree or disagree with the question or statement. Students have to create claims in supporting evidence. And students predict counterclaims and how to refute them. <laughs> All right, wrap up your conversation in five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, does any group need more time for discussion? Or can we go ahead and move forward? You need two more minutes? All right, two minutes. In stage two, students are to be put into proper arrangements for debate. Students debate the claims with evidence in a respectful format. Teachers track discussion and observers take notes. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump back in. All right, so there are so many ways to do Socratic seminar in your class. I just thought this was the uh, the easiest way for teachers who don't do Socratic seminar to come on in and try it, okay? So we have eight tables and we have eight chairs up here. Um, one person, and we're gonna start with the eldest person in your group. So go ahead and determine who your age is right now. We're, we're gonna go from the eldest to the babe. Take a look in your packet at the discussion tracker. Now, you would have your students' names listed here and you'll know who's coming up to the table, all right? Notice there's a legend at the bottom. So as you're listening to this discussion, you'll be able to notate if Roderick is referring to the text or not, if he's asking a probing question of the students in the discussion, um, it, without having to write so much information down, okay? So as the discussion is taking place, I'm going to be tracking some of what is being said so we can talk about those things, all right? Now for the final column on your graphic organizer, when somebody makes a point about the situation, if that point is an <coughs> aha type of point for you, write that in that last column, okay? because you might hear something that y'all didn't discuss in your group. Anybody else? All right, send the eldest person to the discussion table. Having that over your shoulder. And Dion, you made a very good point. Um, why an iPhone? There are cheaper phones out there. Why you gotta have an iPhone? You know, I mean, you can actually get uh, prepaid phones. I mean, iPhones, as we know, they cost thousands of dollars. Mm -hmm. So you get in the high end of the, of the car here when you should be driving a uh, whatever. Okay, so that's a good point because you have other options. Yes, you, you you you're not stuck with just this one. You you can stay within your price range and do that. So what I'm hearing you say is that the phone purchase is a luxury and not an emergency purchase. Mm -hmm. It is. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Where where did you face some of the tension? Show me where. 
I'm glad you said that. <laughs> Based on what we read. Well, there's no specific evidence within the, the Mint article regarding the purchase of an iPhone. But in the text itself, um, it does caution you against using, using credit cards um, if you're not able to pay it off before interest charges are accrued because how much does that 299 actually going to be um, if you don't pay that off? Well, I understand what you're saying, but it does say in the text that it's going to be paid off within three weeks. That's less than a month, so you don't have to worry about any interest charges being accrued there. So technically, you're not spending any more money while say, still saving time by going ahead and buying a phone immediately. Mr. Before you, before you do that piece, I do want to tell you, just like y'all, you guys had time to build, um, build your background knowledge. You need to make sure you don't skip that step. You cannot do a Socratic discussion in your classroom and your students don't know the content. All right, that cannot be the Monday activity. <laughs> okay, so you want to make sure you are building your students along the way and students know on Thursday or on Friday, we're going to, we're going to have some conversation about this content. 